Jesus, you look like Jesus. You look like Jesus. Stone Kitchen. Happy New Year. I had to cut the end of my nails off because they hurt me so much, but they're still on my body. Anyway, this episode is dedicated to everyone out there who does not drink alcohol. This is a treat for you. There's going to be a couple in this series, so stay tuned for more. Happy New Year. Stone Kitchen. Gluten-free, vegan eats, stomptastic treats. It's uh, like a mint cucumber mojito. Mocatito. Mocktail and mojito. Mocktito? Your mint looks so much better than mine. Thank you. First thing we're gonna do, we gotta cut this cucumber. We're actually gonna hold it this way. So it actually might help if we cut a little base for it to stand on. That's okay. not a bad idea. Look at that. Perfect. Whoa! We need six long, thin slices of cucumber. We're just gonna take our knife and just... This is nice. Whatever you can do. If they're not thin, don't worry about it. Okay, when you say thin, I just cut mine in half. Was that a bad idea? <laughs> no. <laughs> mine are pretty terrible. I've got some really thin ones, medium, and then it's all over the place. Okay, Still I'm gonna veggie. just... Okay. <laughs> is this good? Oh, that looks... Yours looks so much better than mine! Thank you. We're gonna throw like all those into there. Yeah, like that six or so of them, the ones you had. <laughs> so, no? What? what I would do with those guys is crack them in half so that they'll fit in the shaker. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Flippery little fleckers. They are very difficult sometimes. They're like oh, oh. We now need about five or six of these bit leaves. All right, I'm going to pick my favorites. And then yes, once you get those, they are gonna go right into there. I'm just picking out my favorites. <laughs> Do they go in whole like this? With the leaves and everything, just like it's gonna be a greenery sandwich in there. Yes, I love sandwiches. So now what's gonna happen normally is what's called the muddling process. A bartender would take a, like a, a long end of a, something and stick like it there and muddle it all together so that the juices from the cucumber and the mint leaves start to work together and activate. We're not gonna do this though. I think we're gonna have to model it this way because there's no other way to do it. Get all of it yeah. in there and just model. Oh, just push it like as so hard nice. as you can. Yeah. I feel like we're at the spot right, right in. Oh, uh, and you, you can smell that mint starting yeah, to come out, right? Yeah, you totally can. The cucumber has just enough water to activate everything. Hey, Brian. Yeah. We all have different words to talk about our limbs. What words do you use to describe your limb? Stump, <laughs> nub, oh, hand. Hey. I mean, cool. Magically in a ponytail. So now we have muddled our mint and our cucumber into here. Oh, yes, we have. We are going to get another lime because it is the greatest fruit ever. And we're going to cut this bad boy in half again. In half. Generally, one lime should get you about an ounce of lime juice. That is good to know. We're just going to go ahead and go right into this bad boy because we don't need to measure that out. We don't need to measure that out. I was going to say, if you're adding booze, we might measure some things out, but without that, who cares? Nice. I just love these little lime pancakes that make. This is just so much fun. Like <laughs> these, bro. I'm really thankful for this juicer because, like, to do all of this by stump would be very tiring. <laughs> half refreshing and half painful. Now we're gonna bust out agave syrup. Yeah, I got it. It's kind of like a honey molasses type of thing. That's exactly what it is. Mm. Yeah. Do we use you the do. tiny All hat right. or the big hat? The tiny, which I believe is a half ounce on yours, right? Yep. So we're gonna put a half ounce of agave into this drink. Mm. And then just pour it right on in. Yes. Mm. Now we need, ooh. I know, sticky mess, right? Mm -hmm. Let's grab some ice cubes. Brian. I don't know if I have any ice cubes, one second. Do you really not have ice? Who doesn't have oh, ice? I don't. Oh wait, I do, I do, okay. Whew. I have seven, I have seven ice cubes. All right, we're gonna put three in this one. Don't get carried away, because you'll need some more later. Okay, I'm I so don't sorry. Even have ice. I don't even, I don't know what I was thinking. Holy crap, I just realized that we have the same ice cube tray. Okay, there's three. We'll need just a regular, like, a glass. Like a 16 ounce, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> well, remember how you were like, make sure you get a glass, and I was like, yeah, I've got glasses. Okay, I don't, but I have this plastic thing. <laughs> 
It's because, okay, listen, the closest thing I have to a glass is this mason jar, which doesn't, well, maybe it would work. I could try it with this. <laughs> Experiments on sub kitchens, all right. I don't think that'll work. One second, I got one more, one more thought. What about a wine glass? Is that appropriate? Oh, no, that'll break. That's bad. All right, Alexis. Who doesn't have glasses in their house? Me. I think this is gonna work. What's that? It's a mason jar. As long as it forms a reasonable seal. It has a seal. I don't know how reasonable it is. I brought this upon myself. only find one so we have an ice cube in here. Now we're gonna place it on top and then pour out just the liquid as you'll see come out like that. Oh yes. Now we're gonna add club soda, seltzer water, just regular old just carbonated water. Got it. Club soda. And then you're just gonna add as much as your heart desires. Okay. If you feel like being fancy. I do always, which, yes. Then we'll cut another line really quick. Okay. <laughs> As I throw it on the floor, take one of our strips of cucumber that might be remaining. This is great. And then we'll take Where's... one remaining mint leaf and then kind of give it a little uh, a little smack on your nub. Because what that, that's going to do is activate it so it starts like working All of a sudden, its minty magic. kitchen's like X rated. <laughs> Now we have our mint cucumber mock tito tail. Oh my gosh. Can we drink it? Can we? Oh, we were drinking it already. Oh my gosh. I've already forgotten what's in it and I'm so happy about it. Oh. That's just so great. Even though we use that honey agave syrup, you can't tell that there's that in there. Mm. Ah, it's really good. Mm. Nut pot. 